what's going on? Um, I hope that whenever you are watching this, you are doing well. Um, I recently had the opportunity to spend 10 days back at home with my family and it was good. I had a great time. But I realized, you know, just how creative my family is. My parents moved into a new house about two years ago and since they moved in they've rebuilt this walkway in the back of their house with these huge stones. My brother was incredibly creative and built a bed frame for um, his, his nephew. He built uh, a concrete bed frame type thing for their, their master bedroom, um, redid their deck, the um, handrails in their house, he made a cement sink. I mean, he did a ton. He built a gigantic shed that was amazing. Um, and he's just so creative, right? Uh, my sister is a writer, um, you know, so there's the creative gene in the Smiths that I don't know if I don't have it or I just don't choose to use it. I'm not entirely sure, but when I was home, I was thinking about I need to step outside of my comfort zone from time to time and try things that I'm not used to. And one of those things was to be a little bit more creative. Um, and so this week when I was at work, I was pre presented with a new project. It was, they call it, you know, they said, hey, this would be great for your development. And when I heard about it, it was something that I typically have, it's something that I haven't done. And that kind of scared me a little bit because I wasn't sure what to do. It's kind of in a topic that I'm not 100% comfortable in. And so I wasn't sure. But let me backtrack before I let you know what the decision was um, to when I was at home. I had been watching these videos of people that have painted and specifically it's called pendulum painting and if you haven't seen it I would recommend you take a look at it but it's so cool and I thought that I wanted to try that and so typically what I do is when I find something that I want to try I will research everything on that topic before I before I jump in 10 hours of YouTube videos articles about how to how to move forward that kind of thing but for this one um, I decided hey I want to try this pendulum painting but I'm not gonna overdo it on the research I'm just gonna let my my creativity come out and I'm gonna try some new things and I just started working and just went by the seat of my pants. I went to the store, I got some paint, I got a canvas, um, I found some things to make a pendulum, um, but then everything else was just kind of like, we'll figure it out as we go along. And you know what? I learned something. And the things that I learned were that it's okay not to figure it out on the first attempt. I wasn't even close on the first attempt. I, um, you know, made, made some miscalculations in the consistency of the paint. Um, but I liked what I was able to create. And I liked seeing a project with something that I wasn't entirely comfortable with. And the main thing that I came away from that project with was that I learned and I learned a lot um, I learned different paints to use I learned there's a consistency of the paint so that it like hits the canvas in a in a in a good way and it, it looks good um, I also learned that when it comes to paint I make a mess um, a lot we went through a lot of paint thinner on the garage floor um, and I'm hopeful that most of it has come out. Um, but it's a good thing that we will be in this house for a long time, not on wood. 
And so let me show you a little bit about that process and what that looked like. We're going to come back and I want to share one more thought with you. When I talk about a key learning that I had, it came from the paint from the pendulum. Finding the right consistency of paint so that it falls onto the canvas in a smooth, straight line would be beneficial. Here it was a little bit too runny, and the other time I tried it, it was a little bit too thick. As you can see, I, I didn't fully get what I had intended to do on that first attempt, but I was okay with that. I'm actually glad that I didn't get it on the first attempt because sometimes in the world that we live in we are seeing the final product of people that have been trying and working towards something for many years or, or decades for example and so when you see these things on social media or that your neighbors are able to do um, or on TV what you're seeing is the accumulation of a lot of work and effort and sometimes myself definitely included in that I get discouraged because on the first try I might not be able to do it but I learned that hey that's all right all that I'm asked is to try my best to learn and to get better right and so let me get back to my work project. It's presented to me. They say, hey, would this be something that you're interested in doing? And I thought about it. It involves math, which was never my strong suit. Um, and it still isn't. And it, the work can have a significant impact on our business right it's making like the the project would be one that it could have a, a significant impact on on the company and so I was like I don't know I don't know but then I thought back to my art project and I said all right let's do it I'm not expected to get it on day one I'm not expected to get it expected to get it on day two and as long as I go into it with the mindset of I'm gonna do a good job and I'm gonna do it um, accurately and I'm gonna ask for help when I need it then we're gonna be okay I've already learned so much in that work, work project I said yes and I feel better for expanding my comfort zone. I feel like I've learned things that I wouldn't have learned if I didn't say yes and it's opened me up to additional learnings that I'm excited about. So what I would say is it's okay to push yourself. Try new things. There are times that you will find something that you don't like and that's okay. We're not going to be loving every single thing that we try but you're going to be a more balanced person for trying it and in the end you may find something that you like that you wouldn't have otherwise found because you didn't want to step outside of your comfort zone some situations you may find a new hobby or a new passion you may meet new people you just never know so try something new we'll see you next week <laughs>